Greetings from the Boneyard. This is Chris Dean coming at you. This is my Rustification Nation group build final reveal. Now this is what I've finished with. This is what I come up with. Right or wrong, I, I kind of like it to be honest with you. Well, there may be a few more rusty projects in my, in my future. I wouldn't bank on it. But, uh, I put all this on. The grill. The headlights. I put in the glass. I take the front up so it wouldn't get and then I, 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 I put dull coat all over the whole thing. That way the glass looks you look at it there, it looks like it's uh, getting old and foggy, you know, how sometimes glass gets. Uh, Dull coated the bumpers, both of them. The uh, engine bay is done. So, Personally, to be honest, I think it's pretty good because yesterday morning at this time this was nothing but a white chunk of plastic. And in 24 hours I've finished it. But she is done. Um, I put in the brake lights and the backup lights and I left them in there whenever I dull coated it to give it that, you know, worn look that most cars get. There it is. And I like it. Give you a little turnaround of it here. Using the airbrush to rust it up, it really, I think it made it really pop. I had to put some on the doors and the fenders. I, I don't think I've seen this yesterday. You know, but it where I thought it might be heavily rusted, you know how it is on cars. Got some in the back, a little bit in the front. But there she is, fellas. One down, three more to go. Mike's gonna take a little longer because I finally got in the. Uh, detail set the PE detail set I was waiting on but there it is tell me what you think I did find some problems with it and I'm going to tell you what they are now when you go to uh, glue in the chassis do not glue the body the interior glue it to this because there is a bow concave like that or convex concave convex whichever one you want to call it I think it's convex so you need to glue the chassis and this floor pan to the interior pan solid then you can put this and this together and for those who are interested in uh, my magnet thing using the uh, One eighth with the biggest one. This is what you get. And that's me turning it completely upside down. So it will work. There's one in the box, or should I say, I got an empty box. There's a nice view of the top for you. I've got a bunch of extra bodies laying around. I may start practicing on that on my resting for next year's group build. So there it is. Thanks for all who followed. Thanks for all your your nice comments. Um, There she is. 
Tell me what you think. Be nice. Be, don't be nice. Be, be harsh. Let me know. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.